Gisteren vond het congres in het kader van de Internationale Dag voor Mensen met de Beperking plaats in Borum Torarica Hotel. Het werd georganiseerd door het monitoringsteam in samenwerking met het Kinderfonds van de Verenigde Staten. Nicolas Bron, de vertegenwoordiger van UNICEF in Guyana en Suriname, gaf aan dat alle kinderen, ongeacht hun beperkingen, het recht hebben om te groeien in een omgeving waar ze worden gerespecteerd, ondersteund en aangemoedigd om hun dromen te verwezenlijken. Het is een honor voor mij om je vandaag in observance van de internationale dag van mensen met disabilities. Het is een dag that brings together the world in recognition of the dignity, the rights, and the potential of persons with disabilities. At UNICEF, we believe that all children, regardless of their ability, have the right to grow up in an environment where they are respected, where they are supported, where they are empowered to fulfill their dreams. Today, this unique day, provides us with an opportunity to reflect on the progress we've made, but also to acknowledge that more needs to be done to ensure that children and adolescents with disabilities can thrive equally and inclusively within society. The theme for this year's International Day of Persons with Disabilities is very important. Amplifying the leadership of persons with disabilities for an inclusive and sustainable future. It calls for a renewed focus on removing the barriers that prevent persons, including children with disabilities, from fully participating in society. These include physical, societal, and attitudinal barriers that can create spaces where exclusion and marginalization persist. In Guyana and in Suriname, we are proud of the strides that have been made towards greater inclusion of children with disabilities. Yet, we also recognize that huge challenges remain children with disabilities still face stigma and discrimination, limited access to quality education, to health care and social services, as well as fewer opportunities for employment and participation in civic life. But these challenges should not define the future of children and adolescents with disabilities. Instead, All of us must focus on the remarkable potential that lies within every single child. And we must work together to create environments that enable them to succeed. We stand together with government, with civil society, with families, and with communities in advocating for the rights of children with disabilities. I can assure you that UNICEF is committed to keep supporting efforts, your efforts, to ensure inclusive education systems, to improve access to health care, and to raise awareness on disability rights. Together, we aim to ensure that disability is not a barrier to opportunity, but rather a unique aspect of the diversity that so enriches our societies. Inclusive education is one of the key areas where we see tremendous potential for change. When children with disabilities are given a chance to learn alongside their peers, it is not only benefiting them, but it enriches the entire classroom. It fosters empathy, it fosters understanding, and it fosters acceptance, shaping a generation that values diversity and inclusion. Ensuring that no child is left behind, ensuring accessibility to public spaces, to employment, and to cultural activities 
a critical part of this equation. We must continue to work together to change attitudes, to ensure that all children, irrespective of their abilities, are treated with respect, with dignity, and with love. It is for these reasons that UNICEF and the government of Suriname have developed minimum standards for engaging children with disabilities, and that we are currently conducting a situation analysis on children with disabilities in Suriname. As a proud supporter of this conference, UNICEF continues to support the presidential monitoring team to support actions for people with disabilities. On this International Day of Persons with Disabilities, let us reaffirm together our commitment to breaking down barriers and to building a future where all children can grow up in an inclusive, equitable world. A world where every child can reach their full potential. To every child, to every young person, to every family affected by disability, I want you to know that you are not alone. Your voice is heard and your potential is limitless. Together, we will build a world where all children, regardless of ability, have the opportunity to thrive. Verder gaf Melissa Santoki, First Lady van de Republiek Suriname, haar toespraak. Everything is important that we do, right? As a government, as an organization, every step we take, every action is for betterment of our society, of our nation, of the world, basically, because we partner with UNICEF. So how come there are still gaps we experience? Our children experience it, adults experience it. So we're not there yet as a society, as a country, and as the world. We're still not there yet. But that should never stop us from trying and acting to achieve it. And that's our challenge. That's why we're here today. The world changes. What we need changes because we grow. We don't stay at one point. So what we have achieved in the past is still that point. But as we grow, we need to do better. We need to make it more inclusive, we say. So it's an ongoing process. We never stop. And the question and the challenges will always be there, but we will never stop. I'm very honored that the, um, the organizations, the institutes are coming together and to change it, to keep on moving, pushing, you know, keep the ball rolling. So with this year's team regarding leadership, I think that's a really good way of putting it. Because if you want change, you have to lead. Does that make sense to everybody? You want change, you have to lead. And where does change start? Exactly, I see you saying with yourself. It starts with yourself. It starts with your thinking. And I can say, and I have had a really great, and I still have a great partnership with Mafrao Rosita. Every project that I've initiated and still produce has always been with inclusivity. And I have the proof. We have done it. And I try to inspire others to set forth that work. Because my time is limited, but I hope that we've inspired enough, enough organizations and institutions to take that forward. Whatever is produced here today is not just for one group, it's for all of us. It's for the betterment of Suriname. Because 
We all deserve equal opportunities. We say it, but do we put it in action? Do we put it in action? Let us inspire each other to put it in action and to continue put it in action. That it's not something from a certain source, but for what it represents and what it wants to change. Let that speak for itself. Let that be our motivator. I think, I still feel like, even though this gathering is to amplify your voice and that you feel inclusive in the solutions that are presented, I somehow got the, the feeling that that wasn't what is experienced. And I'm, I'm regrettably, it's, I'm sure that that's not the intention here. And I know whenever, when this proceeds, that more and more you can feel included in the decision because it is your future as well as our future together. As I said, the projects that I have done, I always try and I'm happy to say that we have had that since 2020 and I've seen more and more programs introduce that. So I'm happy to say that when the ball gets rolling, it get, it, you, you pick it up, organizations pick it up. And as I said, don't let it be something from whatever source, let it be for what we want to achieve. And that should be the leading factor. I know you've been doing an amazing job. I've seen the presentations. It, there's a lot of thought and a lot of heart went into whatever you presented. And I would, I'm happy to see that because that same heart and action and every part of you that you put in for the betterment of the people, of us all, that, that continues because that is gonna be the drive, driving force. Whatever change you want to experience, whatever change you want to achieve. And maybe now we have financial limitations as a country, but we're gonna be there if we have this, if we strive for that of betterment of the country, that we focus on where we want to be. So when the oil and gas gets there, that we already have our plans to execute, the plans to execute for the actual inclusive nation that we want to be. So this work that we're doing here is preparation for when we can fully funded, <laughs> execute the projects that you have in mind. So continue your work and I wish you all the success and wherever I can play a part, I am available. So let us move in collective action towards the change we want to be and the change starts with us, we said. So that is every day.